Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass. Now the iPhone 6 has an awesome camera. It's got an 8 megapixel rear camera, 1.2 front camera, 1080p at 60 frames a second, 720 at 240 frames a second, plus phase detection, autofocus, plus tons more. There's also a bunch of different shooting options as well. And what this allows you to do is create some really nice videos and also photos using just a mobile phone camera. Now we've had mobile phone cameras for quite a while now, but they're getting better and better with every new phone that comes out and the iPhone 6 is no exception. The way that it produces colors, dynamic range and the actual stabilization itself and in my case on the iPhone 6 this isn't optical image stabilization it's done using the actual software itself. It looks extremely cool and as you can see here it's super smooth and the frame rates are awesome. But what if you don't necessarily want to have such good looking video and you want to maybe go a bit retro? Well today we're going to be looking at an awesome application called VHS Camcorder. It's available in the App Store now and we're going to be taking a first look. When you first load up the application you've got very simple buttons for menu, zoom in and out, record and also playback so you can see what you've recorded. In terms of the actual settings themselves you do actually get quite a lot for what's actually a simple application. You can show the date on the recording and you can actually change the date to whatever you want. You can have it for today's current date or if you want to try and fool some people by filming some really new things but putting an older date you've got the option to do so as well. You can also choose black and white and also change the skin of the camera. So as you can see here I'm using the consumer skin at the moment it's a very dark looking skin and if you want to go to the professional mode it doesn't actually change the functionality whatsoever but it does look ever so slightly different as you can see just here you've also got some other settings as well for tilting the device which will make the effect slightly worse in terms of where that the actual video is filmed you can choose widescreen change the resolution and also the frame rate as well so you can go from 480p all the way to 1080p and 23 or 29 frames a second and you've got some information about the developer down below as well and in terms of the way the application actually works, it's very simple because there's very limited buttons. Now as you can see here, once you press record, you do get a timer down in the bottom corner. And you can see here it's 2.59pm, August 29th, 1984. Now as you can see, when you actually tilt the device, it does make the distortion worse. Although you can actually swipe up on the screen and down on the screen to increase or decrease the distortion while you're actually filming. So this is really cool because it allows you to make it better or worse. And just gives it that really retro VHS feel just by moving finger up and down on the screen. Now you've also got zoom in and out on the bottom left hand corner of the screen as well but as you can see it looks really cool and one thing that I like is it actually takes away the stabilization that you get with the iPhone 6 so again it gives you that old school shaky cam feel. Now once you then click on the play button in the bottom right hand corner it's going to take you to all the clips that you've previously filmed and again you can see here that you can just press and hold on one of the clips if you want to share that clip or delete it you've got the option to do so and also all of the clips do get taken over into the camera roll as well so you can share them using your standard social networks but now let's see how good the video actually looks
So as you can see, the video looks awesome in a bad way, but that's kind of the whole point. It looks very much like VHS did back in the day, if you guys remember that, and just in general, it has a really cool effect to it. Now you can use this for pranking some of your friends and filming something new and making them think it's old, or just if you want something slightly different to the really crisp video that we're getting these days on the phones, it's a great option. I'm going to put links in the description down below so you guys can download the application for yourself. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like down below. Also, if you've got any questions about the application or Copper vs Glass, be sure to leave them in the comments section down below on Google Plus or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. For more great content, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. Thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.